Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph f of x equals uh, negative 2 tangent of x plus pi halves. Uh, so to do this, what we want to do is kind of identify you know, the most important or the possible information for our function. Now, um, the big thing is we notice that's a negative. So we're going to have a reflection over the x-axis. And the other big misconception is we see a 2. And a lot of times when we're doing the basic information for tangent, um, students want to do that just like they did for sine and cosine. They want to you know, say, what is the amplitude? Well, remember, tangent, cotangent, cosecant, and secant do not have an amplitude. Because amplitude, the definition of amplitude is the half distance from the maximum to the min. Well, tangent extends indefinitely um, to positive infinity and negative infinity, so there is no maximum and minimum. However, we can still determine what is the period, what is the x scale, what is the phase shift, and what is the vertical transformation. Now, the way that I do graphs, um, I don't really uh, I don't really have my graph affected by the two. Um, what that two is going to do is going to uh, compress um, the graph, and um, so it's going to you know kind of make it look like it's a skinnier as a shape. Now, if you use an x scale of four rather than two, then you could definitely determine points within the graph, and that would be able to help you determine what that graph is going to look like. Um, however, I'm not really as concerned about that, so that's why I only use an x scale of 2, because I'm just concerned of where's the asymptote, where's the intercept, and that's it. Uh, so anyways, period. So to determine for tangent, um, first of all, let's, where are we going to get all this information? Well, remember, it's a times tan of bx minus c plus d. OK, so we know that uh, a is negative 2, but that doesn't really gonna affect us right now. Our period is going to be pi divided by b. Well, b in this case is 1, so we just have pi. Our x scale is my period divided by 2, which is pi halves. My phase shift is going to be whatever is set inside my function. Um, set equal to 0, then solve for x. So I have x plus pi halves is equal to 0. Subtract pi halves. Subtract pi halves. x is equal to a negative pi halves. Now again, the phase shift. Um, it's just going to tell you from the initial period where the graph is going to uh, shift. And I usually like to start at my um, phase shift. And vertical transformation is going to be your d, which is going to be shifting graph up or down, which we can say we do not have. So we do not have one. OK. So when I'm graphing um, this function, what I, as I mentioned, one thing you have to understand what the parent graph looks like. So if you don't know what the parent graph looks like for tangent, please go and look it up. I'm not going to graph it in this in this video, but please go and take a look at what the parent graph looks like. Um, because I am going to start this graph at negative pi halves. Actually, you know what? Let me graph. Here's the parent graph. y equals tangent of x. Okay? There is pi halves, negative pi halves. Graph looks like that. That's what the parent graph looks like. Okay. Now, that's not what we're trying to graph. That is what the parent graph with no transformations. Now, as I mentioned, the phase shift is saying now the graph is going to start at negative pi halves. So instead of you can kind of saying wherever you know, it started at 0, now we can take this graph and shift it, or take this whole graph and shift it over negative pi halves. So therefore, rather than the intercept being at the origin, the intercept is going to be at negative pi halves. So I can still say, all right, that's 0, that's pi halves, that's negative pi halves, this would be negative pi, and this would be positive pi. Now again, as we measure, since we shifted over to the left, instead of my x-intercept being here, now here's my x-intercept. And therefore, that has to be my asymptote. That means that has to be my asymptote. Here is my next x-intercept, and there is my asymptote as well. Now again. The other thing is, since the graph goes like this, remember the negative tells us to reflect over the x-axis. So I'm going to literally take this graph and reflect it over the x-axis. You're just flipping it over the x-axis. Um, so therefore, my graph now, and again, the 2, as I mentioned, kind of makes it a little bit skinnier, which you can use your table if you want to, a table feature, um, or you can. Uh, Use a table function, table feature, or uh, just use a different x scale to determine the scale points for there to actually determine the points. Um, but for, for me and for this course, I just want to make sure you understand, you know, how to determine uh, the x scale and the intercepts, and that's how you graph tangent. Thanks.